Unfortunately, I have seen some non-professionals do Botox in the face to stop, for instance, TMJ pain. Right. And they end up paralyzing half the face because they don't realize that the nerve to control the whole face comes out near the TMJ. And if you don't know that, you, you've seen that happen many times. Dropping a brow is fairly common, but the degree to which a brow will drop can be lessened by the knowledge of the injector. So, for instance, we want the lateral eyebrows to lift following Botox, but not be overlifted. Right. And then I think the other point that I need for you to know is that we inherit nerve patterns to the movement of our face from our family. Oh, Mom and dad and the generations that went before us. So we can do one spot in 10 people's forehead, the same spot, and get almost 10 different reactions. Oh, you're kidding. Because the nerve <laughs> innervation changes. That's awful. And that's, that's why that's I think a legitimate person, like a board certified plastic surgeon or facial plastic surgeon or a dermatologist, they're board certified as well, should see their first timers a week or two later because the pattern that they use may not be the right pattern and how are you going to know unless you see them back and it allows you to get a better understanding of how you as that patient responds to their pattern and what they think because we can amend the pattern based on your reaction and then every subsequent visit you're pretty sure you're going to get the response you want because we've learned right and i think that's an important part that no one really talks about